What is up guys? Zenatech here back again for another video. Today we're going to talk about dash cams. I mean if you go to Amazon.com there's just too many of them. So sometimes you don't even know which one to get and based on the reviews alone sometimes it's kind of like a hit or miss. Apparently I made contact with uh, one of the sellers on Amazon and he was telling me that I should try out their dash cam. I'm like, go ahead, send it over. So I finally did and this is called the Sendow dash cam. Let's take a look at the spec sheet here. It's got an HDMI out, well it's actually a mini HDMI out. Um, it's got night vision, so it's got infrared sensors on it and it's got a gravity sensor and your car detects an impact or it will hard lock one of the video files that captured the actual accident. It's got a Sony IMX323 sensor. I don't know if you remember the Sony Cybershot cameras. It used to have the Exmor sensors built into it. Apparently the prices have gone down with these sensors so most Chinese companies actually use the Sony IMX323 sensors. You can look it up online and you will see a bunch of them that are actually using this type of sensor. Stay tuned for the end of this video. I'll be showing you some clips from the dash cam during daytime and nighttime. And after the end of this video, I'll be giving you a 20% off coupon for this actual dash cam. So I'm gonna be leaving the product links in the description below for you guys to check it out. So let's go ahead and do a quick unboxing of the Sendow dash camera. Nothing fancy in this box. So we do have the actual dash cam. Let's set it to the side for now. You're greeted by a user manual. And on the bottom, you have three sorts of accessories. So let's go with the one from the right. Looks like this one is the power outlet to your car. And next up, it's gonna be your mini USB cable. And this one looks really interesting. The suction cup has a mini USB port. It helps you wire your dash cam better to run power from the 12 volt socket. So that looks pretty neat. So now let's go to the actual dash cam. So you can see it's got six glass lens from what their advertising was. And you got your infrared lights on the left, you got your speaker on the right, and on the bottom seems to be more vents. Same on the top one. And it says 1080p full HD, just so you don't forget it's full HD quote unquote and as you can see there's pins right on the clip where you're supposed to clip the actual suction cup so it'll run power from the actual suction cup and also on the left hand side there's another charging port which is also a mini USB and if you pry this area open you will see the actual mini HDMI out and on the left you do have your micro SD card slot and that can only take up to 32 gigabytes maximum storage and you also have your snapshot button your screen and record button and it's a two and a half inch screen and on the bottom you can actually see your power button your left and right buttons and your menu button and on the left from the bottom it's very tiny I don't know if you can see it but that's your microphone right there so I don't know how good the audio quality will be but there's only one way to find out guys so let's go ahead guys and take this out on the road and test it out so here we are guys um, this is a clip that you're seeing right now from the Sendow dash camera and by the way this is totally unedited so what you're seeing is the actual footage I already checked this dash cam out before I made this video so I can clearly tell the video quality is pretty good for what it is. It's not the best or anything like that. It's a little bit grainy. However, it is 1080p at 30 frames per second compressed. And one of the best things that I like within this price range, most of the other dash cams, they have terrible audio. And this one, I can tell you straight off the bat, the audio is just amazing. And it's got a lot of different modes. Um, it can play loop recording within, if you want to record video within a minute, two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, or even 10 minutes. Or you can shut it off completely. It will just record one long video clip. See, 
see, one of the best things I like about having a dash cam, you do have that sense of security. I mean, if you don't drive like a total asshole, but it's really good for insurance purposes, especially if it's not your fault. Um, I do think it's a really good way to um, actually also, um, you know, insurance fraud, scammers, you know, people trying to sue you for, uh, but it's not even your fault because you, you, you do have proof that it's not your fault. So as long as you're not an idiot driver, this is a really good way to, you know, for, for safety reasons. Who knows? You, you, you'll be able to see a bunch of, uh, you know, out of nowhere, you, you'll see an accident. You'll be able to be a witness of an accident because you do have the footage. Even if you're not involved, low beam, high beam. Low beam, high beam. So there you have it guys. That is the Sendow Dash camera. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, I'm gonna be leaving the product link in the description down below for you guys to check it out. And the 20% coupon code is... So once again, thank you guys for watching. Did you find any dash cams on Amazon that actually outperforms this one? Let me know on the comments, guys. And if you haven't already done so, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more videos. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.